Tomorrow night, the first ever feature film to be broadcast live will be streamed in American theaters. The movie is called Lost in London, and it's written, directed, and produced by its star, Woody Harrelson. Mary H.K. Choi met up with Harrelson on set to see how he plans to pull it off. Why did you make this sort of very harrowing, complicated thing, your directorial debut for film? Hey, I tell you, I wish you'd asked me that a, a month ago, and I could have got out of this thing. But the, the danger of it is exciting, I got to say. It's very dangerous. I just can't imagine. We're shooting this, and people are sitting in their seats watching it. This thing could be a disaster. It could be great. could be great. Lost in London recounts an eventful evening in the actor's life. In 2002, Harrelson was thrown in jail upon causing a ruckus in a taxi, starting a car chase, and then trying to flee from police on foot. Really, it was one of the worst nights I've, I've had, and I don't know why I later thought, comedy. <laughs> how did you even rope in Owen Wilson and Willie Nelson? I know the Texas connection, but like, how much weed was involved? How did they no, get into no, this? They made very sober judgments on this. <laughs> Uh, fortunately, they read the script and they really liked it and they wanted to be a part of it. With 14 locations, 30 actors, and 100 minutes shot on a single camera, nothing about Lost in London is easy. While there have been other one-shot films like Russian Ark or Victoria, nobody else has been crazy enough to then live stream the entire film to cinemas in one take. Even if the sound doesn't get messed up or it's the, the live feed doesn't go out or it isn't raining or the wind blow off an antenna or someone walking into the shot. Even if none of those things happen, there's still the wild card of, can I pull this off as an actor? How are you preparing for this night, like, emotionally? Do you have, like, night terrors? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I haven't had a good night's sleep in a long time. The stakes are high for Harrelson, and in a promo for the project, he's promised that if things go irretrievably wrong, he'll make his shame known publicly. And if I fail, I'm going to jump off Waterloo Bridge into the Thames below. So if this does fail, will you really jump off of Waterloo Bridge? Yes, I will. It, it's that or Harry Carey. If everything's gone wrong, then it'll be bad. And if everything has uh, gone pretty much right, even with a few accidents thrown in and we can roll with them, then I'll consider that a success. <laughs>